بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين الى يوم الدين اما بعد ولله على الناس حج البيت من استطاع اليه سبيلا it is the right of allah over the people to make pilgrimage to his house this is a great favor of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so a person need to be focused on this opportunity and not focused on whatever problems he encounters on this journey if we look at it as an opportunity we will progress and any barrier that comes in between shaitan will use it so we need focus on the right purpose to achieve success so they say focus is follow one course until success who am i what am i worth who is inviting me where is he inviting me to so the adab the respect is an important constituent it's an important ingredient in deen ad-deen al-adab kulluhu deen is adab pure adab so this dawat this invitation from allah demands respect and the etiquettes to follow on this noble journey needs to be followed as well when you show respect you will be respected a person cannot respect others they will not be respected if you cannot respect allah and the shair of allah everything that is connected to allah how do you expect to be respected by allah rabbul alamin when you lose value for deen when you lose value for the deen of allah when the awamir of allah is lost then this insan loses value his property loses value all his assets loses value and that's why it is snatched away but worse than that if a person cannot respect others he will not even respect himself and this is the downfall of the person for example hidayat a person respects the principle of guidance but he does not respect deen means he's not respecting himself because if he respected deen he is respecting himself because he is honor in this body he becomes valuable on earth he becomes valuable in the earth when he passes away the soil won't touch him the worms won't touch him adab won't touch him no harm will come to him now he'll be respected ذلك ومن يعظم حرمات الله فهو خير له عند ربه so such is the person making the pilgrimage such whoever honors these rights of Allah فهو خير له then it is good for him in the sight of Allah رب العالمين so we are commanded to fulfill the arkan the obligations of going to the baitullah and the person who fulfills this year who honors the sacred things of allah part of that is not committing guna not committing sin not breaking any commands of allah zalika وَمَنْ يُعَذِّمْ شَعَائِرَ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّهَا مِنْ تَقْوَى الْقُلُوبِ Whoever honors, whoever sanctifies the symbols of Allah, respecting the signs of Allah, venerating the sacraments of Allah, then that is piety, that is taqwa. So, the... Uh, commentators have mentioned that uh, this veneration min al umur al mahbuba lillah it is beloved to allah and it is a means to get close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thawaban jazila and great rewards 
وكانت خيرا له في دينه ودنياه وأخراه عند ربه It is better for him in his deen, his dunya, his akhirat and the hurumat of Allah. So we have been commanded to have the ihtiram and the honor of these places because this is the culmination and the climax of ibadah and worship. The Hajr Aswad, for example, on the day of Qiyamah, Lahu Aynan, have eyes, Walisan, and a tongue, wa yashhadu liman istalamahu bihaqin. And whoever kissed the Hajr Aswad, it will be a testimony to him. So, Saba Sin Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam, raitu Rasulullah alayhi salam yastali muhu wa yakabbiluhu. The wife of Bukhari ibn Umar said, I see Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam making istilam and kissing the Hajr al-Aswad. So Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu, when he used to kiss the Hajr al-Aswad, he said, Inni la'alimu annaka hajarun, la tadurru wa la tanfa'a. I know you're a stone, you just say rock, no benefit, no harm. Because in those same places at one time, people used to kiss idols and believed it benefited in harm. So our motive is something else with due respect. وَلَوْلَا أَنِّي رَأَيْتُ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهِ وَسَلَّمْ يُقَبِّلُكَ مَا قَبَّلْتُكَ If I had not seen the Nabi of Allah kissing you, I would have not even come close to you, forget kissing. I wouldn't have fulfilled this requirement. So, because my Nabi did it, I will do it. Now my Nabi showed honor to these places, I will show honor to these places. How could a person possibly go to these places and break Allah's command? When Sahaba was so particular, Ibn Umar said, when making istilam of the Hajar and kissing it, مَا تَرُكْتُهُ مُنذُ رَأَيْتُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّهُمْ يَفْعَلُهُ since I see my Nabi doing it, I never left it out. What my Nabi did should become beloved. Now, in the same Hajri Aswad point, people go to the Baytullah, they in front of the Baytullah. But now it becomes a, a wrestling contest and between men and women. So we've harmed another believer, we've, 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 we've caused the cliff, we've, we've touched uh, females, we've broken the commands of Allah for something which is Sunnah. So priority, understanding the objective and the mizaj of deen, what adab should you have had in front of the Baytullah, in front of the Hajri Aswad, instead of giving people uppercuts. Ya Umar, Nabi alayhi salam address Hazrat Umar, innaka rajilun qawiyun, la tuzahim ala al-hajar. So do not wrestle, do not fight, do not فَتُوْ ذِيَا الضَّعِي If you harm somebody who is weak إِنْ وَجَدْتَ خَلْوَةً فَاسْتَلِمْهُ It is an opportunity, then do it, no problem. وَإِلَّا فَاسْتَقْبِلْهُ وَهَلِّلْ وَكَبِّرْ So very simple. So Dina has given us solutions. What we are not responsible for, we shouldn't be doing that. And this is the answer to the intellectuals and the modernists who bring logic into deen. That why are you kissing the Hajr Aswad? Why? Because my Nabi did it. Umar will say, Fima Ramalan. Why, my, why should we do Ramal? And uh, Ramal is where a person walks swiftly, lifting the legs forcefully, and the chest is sticking out. While a person moves their shoulders during the Tawaf Al-Umrah and Tawaf Al-Qudum, imitating a warrior, after which there is Sa'i, that's in the first three rounds, and likewise to uncover the right shoulder in all the circuits of Tawaf, if the bar, which is in all seven rounds, after which there is a Sa'i, why will a person do this? Hazrat Umar is making the tarbiyah of the Sahaba. 
that what's the reason for this where Islam has become dominant was al kufr and uh, disbelief has subsided of al kash then he said la nad'u we la we, we, we cannot leave sunnah of our nabi we cannot leave the sunnah of our nabi so even logically a person says that now the condition in those days is not present then here there's no logic again but the point being uh, recognizing and venerating the signs of Allah what Allah has commanded us and what the Nabi of Allah has done those amal also should be followed 100% that's why on this journey here, uh, we need to go to the ulama Rabbaniyin, hold their hands and tell, uh, and, and ask them to show us how to do all these amal. So part of this uh, reverence, the shair, the sign in front of the Baytullah is a person, unfortunately nowadays when we're making tawaf, we have to dodge people who have become photographers and expert um, movie makers because they want to show the world so so uh, taking selfies in front of the Baytullah and making it a holiday venue and making it a tourism venue so we worried what we need to show our friends what I need to show my family rather than what I should show to Allah and the Farishtas we should be making tawaf of the Baytullah. Nowadays people make tawaf of the malls and the shopping centers. They know more about the bazaars and the marketplaces than the people of Mecca. So we live with bags overweight of dunya. Bags filled with gifts for everybody. But we don't have bags of hidayat. And we don't have the greatest gifts that a person can take from the Baytullah, a gift from Allah of Maghfirat. We don't leave with gifts of making dua for others' hidayat so we can go back and distribute this hidayah. Part of this adab and respect of looking at the Baytullah and getting reward, the azmat of this Baytullah, not looking at the television screens and looking, not looking at the so called nur and the strangest faces, not looking at social media accounts, not looking at the platforms that will distract one from Allah and His Rasul. So what is the actual purpose of going to this Mubarak place? Inna awwala baytin wudhiya lin nas lalladhi bi bakka mubaraka wa huda so this first house appointed four men is which one in Bakka, Makkah? One is Barakah and secondly Hidayat, Hidayat. So we should be going with bags of Hidayat. That's the actual purpose, draw hidayat for myself, for my family and the ummah. Why Allah is, Alam ibn Kathir has mentioned Bakka, Makkah, what's the name of Makkah? One of the names was Bakka because it comes from the word Buka for crying and weeping. Every person who has whatever flaws will come and cry before Allah, even if it's a tyrant, if it's an arrogant, proud person, he will become submissive and humble in Bakka. So uh, another reason why Mufassirin explained Bakka, Buka is where uh, they gather around it. So it's a gathering of all nations around the Baytullah. Many names of the Baytullah, Al Bay. Tul Atik, the ancient house, Al Baytul Haram, the sacred house, Al Baladul Amin, the city of safety, Al Ma'moon, security. 
Ummul Qura, Mother of Towns, etc., etc. So, the adab and the etiquettes, adab, the, 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 the veneration and the honoring of these sacred places. وَإِذْ بَوَّأْنَا لِإِبْرَاهِيمَ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ Remember when we prepared for Ibrahim والسلام, the place of the holy house and what Allah gave him instructions لَا تُشْرِكْ بِي شَيْئًا Do not ascribe partners unto me وَطَحِّرْ بَيْتِيَ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْقَائِمِينَ وَالرُّكَّعِ السُّجُودِ And purify my house so, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam the Baytullah and uh, Allah guided him and gave him this permission and trusted him to build the Baytullah, then وَأَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَعِيلَ أَن تَهِرَا بَيْتِيَ So Allah commanded Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam to purify the house of Allah. So the greatest purification is La tushrik bi shay'a Not ascribing partnership to Allah Wa tahir baytiya And sanctify my house So those that are making tawaf Mufassirin explain That uh, there's only one spot on earth Where people will make tawaf Unlike Salah, which is many places on earth. So Ya Allah is mentioning the greatness of his house, the greatness of the one who built it, and the greatness of the ones who will come to it for the greatest purpose on earth, Hidayat. So how the house is cleansed, when a visitor comes, you clean it, you make it ready, you prepare it. Allah is preparing the house, but how outwardly it is being purified Internally also the hearts will be purified. A person commits a guna, there is a black spot, the heart becomes dark, soiled in darkness. And the higher one level of cleansing is where a person makes toba and their hearts are cleansed. That's one. Secondly, to be cleansed, and this is a higher level of purification. A person doesn't desire, he uh, doesn't have a desire to break Allah's command and engage in sin. When you leave my house, you will leave without a desire to break any of my commands because when you meet Allah on this journey, you will know who you met, you will know the power of who you met, and you will know the value of the command who you met. Unfortunately, when a person is deprived of this hidayat and this guidance, then a person go to these Mubarak places, but they increase in sin. In the four years of hotels, on the Mataf, now it becomes Haji Bai in Haji Ben. And people are hooking up in these four years and these hotels. So we wanted to bring our dunya with also to the Baytullah. So people are hooking up, they're supposed to be hooking up with Allah and His Rasul, but they get hooked up. Now shaitan has hooked them up. To such an extent that we make hila and we, we, we find ways to justify our wrongs. That See these beautiful, gorgeous, stunning sisters of Islam, who will make fikr on them? They will go to Jahannam, so I need to make fikr to take them to Jannah. And it engage in dawa. So how shaitan uses us in what? What a high level of deception. If we go into these place, places, 100% I'm in. I can't be 50-50. I'm doing my hajj, I'm doing my umrah, at the same time I'm doing guna, I'm socializing, um, I'm on social media, I'm, I'm on, on, on every platform that will deform me. I'm, I'm, I'm watching uh, the Baytullah, I'm watching the screens, I'm watching the television, I'm watching WhatsApp, I'm watching uh, Facebook, I'm watching YouTube. So I'm, my gaze is supposed to be where and where it is. So we have to identify our purpose, like a man who approached a, 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 a gorgeous 
super model of a girl in a supermarket and he said, excuse me, ma'am, I've, I've, I've lost my wife. Can I talk to you? Why? Who are you? What, what do you want? What do I have with your wife? He said, no, 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 sorry. Don't get me wrong. Every time I talk to a pretty girl, my wife appears out of nowhere. Every time I talk to a pretty, gorgeous girl, my wife appears out of nowhere. So where am I? Which direction am I going to? 100% I need to be into it. 100% till I die, till my last breath. There was a businessman who booked a room in a hotel. The receptionist told him, you know what, there's a guest in an adjoining room who's very nervous and he has trouble sleeping. He's finicky. So you better be careful. So he reached the room. He was tired, exhausted, very long day. He threw his shoe down very hard. He said, hey, you know what, there's a guest next door. Uh, so he put his other shoe down very so slowly, silently. So... He went to go sleep. Two hours later, he had a loud bang on the door. Who is it? I'm the guest next door. Said, How can I help you? He said, for heaven's sake, please throw the other shoe down. Please, can you throw the other shoe down? So for that whole two hours, this person was restless, waiting. When's he going to When's he? When's he? When's he? When's he? When's he? When's he? People are finicky about small things about dunya. How come we not particular about our deen to make it perfect? So we are going to these Mubarak places. We need to identify a purpose. As a Junaid, Rukhla says, once I went for Hajj to the Baytullah, I was in Mecca to al and in the darkness of the night, I used to perform Tawaf. While I was making Tawaf, I heard a girl singing, making Tawaf. How much did I not conceal my love, yet it refuses to hide, and now it has openly proclaimed itself aloud. She's saying this ashar, these poems, when my yearning increase, my heart shakes on remembering Allah, and when I desire to be near Allah, hastily does he oblige by being near me. When he appears, I die in him, and for his sake I love again. And indeed, does he care for me, this ecstasy that I feel? So Junaid says, I said to her, Oh girl, do you not fear Allah? How can you say such words in this holy places? He said, if I did not fear Allah, you would not see me here. For I would have been lying down fast asleep. It is the fear of Allah that brought me here from my motherland. His love made me flee. His love has caused me to be confused and sad. So uh, she asked, oh, Junaid, do you perform Tawaf of Allah or Tawaf of the Baytullah? So he said, the Baytullah. Then she turned to the Asman to them and said, Subhanallah, how strange you are, created being like a stone, performing Tawaf around a stone. You're made from sand. You turn, making Tawaf around sand. And she said some poems. They seek thy nearness while performing tawaf around stones. Indeed, are their hearts harder than stones. Indeed, they are troubled and confused as they imagine themselves near to thee. Were they true in their love, they would forget their own attributes and only concern themselves with the attribute of your love. As a Junaid says that on hearing these words from her, I fell down unconscious and then I woke up, she was gone. I fell down unconscious, stone making tawaf of stone. Damal for today is when going to these places to make a niya of dying in these Mubarak places. In Hadal Bayt, the Amatum Min Da'imil Islam, it's one of the pillars. Of Islam, for man hajj al bayt, or a tamara, whether you do numra or hajj, for wadamin Allah, you are under the guarantee of Allah. For in matter, if you become shaheed, pass away, other khalahullahu al jannah, Allah takes responsibility to enter him into jannah, wa in raddahu ila ahlihi, and if he doesn't, raddahu bi ajrin wa ghanimatin, he returns with reward. And Prophet, may Allah give us to be making amal wa akhiru dawana, and alhamdulillahi rabbil alim.